It's starting to get cold here, you guys. What's up, you guys? It's MNJ Views back at you with another video. I've only filmed one video where I was all alone. Jerry mostly does all the talking and he knows like how to continue the conversation without any pauses and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna try my best to do this for you guys. So what I'm going to be talking about today is 10 things you should know before buying an Australian Shepherd. Me and Jerry, Jerry and I, me and Jerry, Australian Shepherd Stella, she had puppies. I don't want to say that they're a hassle. They're fun to have, of course, because they're puppies. But we've noticed that there's a lot of responsibility when taking care of puppies. And we noticed this because we're taking care of nine puppies and that's like ridiculous amount. I'm not saying you're gonna own nine Australian Shepherds, but if you can, that would be awesome. Getting right into the video. Okay, the first thing, they could be really needy. I have so many examples. She'll want to play fetch when I'm doing homework when I want to relax like she'll she'll come to the bedside with the ball in her mouth and she'll just stare at me like for hours until I get up and throw the ball outside they're gonna want to always be by your side or at least with my Australian Shepherd she never leaves my side she's literally right here right now when I get up to get a sandwich or something she has to follow me I think that comes with uh, most of the dogs but with Australian Shepherds it goes on to my number two which is they bark or talk a lot they are very vocal dogs. They'll howl, they'll bark at strangers outside. She even barks at my mom and she lives with us and she's known her since she was a little puppy. There she is. Look, she's gonna bark. Like in the middle of the night, we'll be sleeping, of course, the middle of the night. And you'll just hear her whine because she wants us to take her out. She just talks so much. Like she talks to us. She literally talks to us. Okay, number three. This is depending on the type of dog that you own. She doesn't have papers, but we think she's a working class because she'll do anything we tell her. We'll throw the ball a thousand times and she'll go and get it. <laughs> Stella! No! Like a Julian. He's so short. But yeah, they just need to be kept busy because they're very energetic dogs, at least by working class. Oh, I forgot the other type of class. I'll put it like right here. They're known to be more calmer than the working class. Uh, so we think Stella is a working class dog. She's very energetic. She needs to be kept busy. When we don't keep her busy, she'll keep herself busy. When she keeps herself busy, she runs around the house, squeaks her squeaky toy while she's running and jumps on the couches. Number four, this goes with number three. They need a lot of training. I can't imagine Stella without being trained. Like imagine how chaotic that would be. <laughs> we trained her, of course, when she was a little puppy. She was two months old. We started teaching her the basics like sit and lay down and when she got older we taught her how to get down from the bed she knows the basic things that you want a dog to do okay now i'm trying to put myself if stella wasn't trained i'm just thinking constant jumping on you i don't know maybe she'll be chewing up furniture and stuff like that i don't know but they just need to be trained so i guess i'll just go on to my last reason they shed a lot and we recently learned that they are double coated and you cannot shave them you'll find like excessive amount of hair especially in the summer because that's when they shed the most maybe like patches like that on your bed or something or on your clothes especially your clothes don't wear black you'll start Tasting it in your mouth. It's just really gross. It's not so bad in the winter time because they don't need to shed that fur as much I don't know if this is bad or if I have to do it more frequently. I don't know. I'll leave it in the comments down below I usually de-shed Stella every week. I buy like this. I'll show you guys I got away. Okay, so it looks like this Hold up. Let me take I kept this just in case. Oh, yep a lot of hair <laughs> What this is supposed to do is go down, down into their undercoat and get all the loose fur. Help from not shedding as much because you're taking off the fur that's about to shed off. But I mean, of course, if you guys like us, we love dogs, we'll find a way to either look past it or work with it. If you can't handle these five things that I mentioned to you, then Australian Shepherd will drive you nuts. 
trust me. This has been the video for today. If you guys own an Australian Shepherd and there's more to it, leave it down in the comments down below. As well as any questions you want us to answer in our next videos, then we'll give you guys a shout out. We do post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We started doing gaming videos and we post about Stella, Australian Shepherds, our life and vlogs. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna do Jerry's thing.